Okay, family, I'm doing some videos because these clothes are taking a long time to wash. Okay. I've just come back from traveling and I'm, also, I'm going to travel again. As you all know, www.celestialtarotreadings.com uh, I do readings, uh, sell crystals and gemstones. Okay? So, I'm traveling a lot. With some dodgy clothes for wash. So, Prince Harry is secretly plotting, secretly plotting a return to the UK, apparently, okay? And he has help, or rather he has sought help. He has sought help from former royal aides to rehab his image. And there's no mention of Meghan Markle in the plans. Well, number one, from a PR point of view, a marketing point of view, those two are big clients. Harry and Meghan, they're big clients. And um, it may seem a bit challenging, but I don't think it is. I think they could really, really do rework Meghan. They really, really need to rework her. But I'll tell you something, one thing they do need to get rid of is the toxic fans that Meghan has. Toxic fans, and I say that loosely because they don't really support her. It's the same problem with Nicki Minaj. She has genuine, true, lovely fans. And then she has a tribe of toxic, nasty bumbaclads. And the same goes for Meghan Markle, where that little tribe of cockroaches feel like, you know, they, they, they're defending Meghan, but they're only making her look bad. They're only making her look bad. She do have regular, great, fans who understand what she's been through but a lot of it's some old dusty women trying to project themselves onto the little girl who really she wouldn't mess with them in real life before she was married to Harry or after so anyway Harry is plotting his return and apparently he's sought out help he said look chaps I want to redo my thing I want to wash over I want to wash over. Make me over. Come make me over. Now that I want to return to the UK. Just let me know, says the aide. Let me know. Okay, so basically what they have to do is this. He has to apologize to his father, whether he mean it or not. He has to grovel. British people place heavy, heavy stock in groveling. Do you know what groveling is? When you humble yourself till you get down on the ground. Uh, you know they do that in Japan, you know. <laughs> uh, groveling is a big thing in Japan. Like if somebody treats you badly and it's not your fault, but you still need them, you have to grovel to them. Whether it be an employer, you know, the boss, the big boss, whether it be uh, the person who owns your commercial property or, or your parents or somebody, you've got to grovel to them. So you've got to do this type of thing. I'm so worth... You, you, they would have to do this. Oh, I'm so worthless and pitiful. I'm nothing compared to you. Oh, please hear my petition. Oh, please accept my apology. Oh, oh, how terrible I have been and what thoughtlessness I have exercised. Oh, may the gods not hurt me because I have I have bothered you so. <laughs> they do that in Japan, of course, in Japanese. So Harry has to do something similar like that. Harry has to grovel. He has to say, Papa, look, I'm just so sorry, old chap. You know, we we got our wires crossed, and then Charles could say to him, No, no. No, Harry, no wires were crossed. You are ungrateful little bastard. And so Harry has to say, I know, Papa, I know. I was ungrateful and I still have some unresolved issues and some... I have some unresolved issues and uh, so on that, you know, you know, losing mother at such a young age, you know, Harry gonna have to 
and I, and you know, and Camilla hasn't exactly embraced me, Papa. Camilla hasn't exactly put her arms around me and said, Harry, you've lost your mother, but I am here now, here for you. I will be your mother, Harry. Camilla ain't really done that. Do you know what I mean? So, <laughs> so Harry has to come that way to Charles. He has to grovel. The daddy is an old Scorpio man. He's an old Scorpio man. The only way to appease an old, an old Scorpio. You know, Scorpions possess poison in their tail. They'll sting the crap out of you and kill you. They'll kill you. Keep, they'll keep trying to kill you. So he has to. He has to. He has to humble himself and get down. And he has to lay down on the ground. Get down and lay down. Stay down until you finished apologizing and until I finished hearing you. And then I might think about talking to you and then I might think about embracing Megan too but it's you and me boy we have the issue you and me then I'll get to her she comes afterwards because after all she's not blood understand so that's the thing I'll pull a few cards since I'm here I'll pull a few cards. Hold on. And I'll do it from the wisdom of the tower. Don't make me over. Don't, don't throw me away, Papa. Cause I'm trying to love you, Charlie. I'm still royalty. God. Oh, you know what to do. Yeah. This card came up for Judge Mathis yesterday. <laughs> there you go. So Harry, he knows what to do. He knows how to soften his father. He knows how to thaw the ice. He knows how to remove the dagger from the cold heart of Charles. Charles's cold, frozen heart. Next card. Be patient. One thing about Scorpios, uh, if we ever, and it's very, very rare, tomorrow there is a new moon in uh, Virgo, I believe. www.celestotireadings.com He's got to be patient. He has got to be patient with his father because Scorpio men say things like this. Let me think about it. Just let me think about it. I'd like to think about it. I'll get back to you on that. I'm not ready to respond at the moment. I have no response at the moment. I would like to think about, I would like to ponder whatever it is that you've said. At this time, I can't think about it. Doesn't mean to say that tomorrow or the next day you won't think about it. <coughs> you understand? So Harry got to be patient. Next card, fresh start. Oh dad, if things could only go back the way things were, if we could start again, if we could be reloaded and fresh. <coughs> oh father, please excuse my filthy dirty rags. 
I want to be washed clean. Please give me a clean slate, Father. Please renew our relationship, Father. We need a fresh start. Autumn is coming, Father. Autumn, when will you come? I want to put my tweed and my corduroy on. I want to bring Megan and the children right here to Buckingham Palace. We need Charles's ear. I don't want Camilla lingering in the background because she is just a witch. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that, but she's always there. And she's got a twitch. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that. Okay, so fresh start. Okay. See the fresh, beautiful flowers there. They can do this. They can. There's ways they can do this. See, one of the things that they have to do, I'm going to tell you what the, one of the things they have to do. One more card, a second. Earn it. Okay? Earn it. So they've got to put some work in. And so, in regards to what I was going to say they could do, is um, this American Riviera orchard thing is kind of like a firework that you expect to go bang pop but it just lets out a little fizzle and a little smoke there's there hasn't been any big american riviera orchard bang pop bang <coughs> do you understand it's like a tortoise that hasn't actually moved yet ain't moved so, is it a non-starter? Maybe. Jam and dog biscuits, not really cutting it. So what they could do is they could continue to use, I don't know if they're allowed to use the royal insignias and emblems and, and symbols and stuff like that, but they could kind of get creative and um, <clears throat> take some of the symbols, uh, symbols, symbols and stuff like that, and they could create a new kind of crest and they could kind of personalize it and put like I don't know they could do something I, I don't know they couldn't do it and launch it to the public but they can do something where it looks as if they're reaching back out to Charles that they need him he wants to feel as if Meghan and Harry need him so instead of cutting him out of their lives and throwing away everything which is British and royal. They need to start calling back in and embracing things. So they could do some PR. Get a picture of Charles and, and show it to Archie. Right? And say, this is Papa. And teach him how to say, well, he's, he's a big boy now. So say, Grandpapa. Who's that, Archie? with a picture of King Charles. Oh, that's Grandpapa, that's Grandpapa. Grandpapa. And they could record that and put it on social media. Now, number one, it might be hilarious. <laughs> People say, aye aye, what aye aye, what's Harry up to? Number two, after people initially are skeptical, Clarence House, Buckingham Palace, will be looking at it and thinking to themselves oh Harry is trying to teach the children who their granddad is after all Charles is not dead he's alive it's not like showing a picture of Diana the ancestor the same way Meghan showed Archie the photo of Diana she can show him show Archie the photo of Charles as grandpapa his granddad and he's alive and he's over there so they need to take those kind of extraordinary steps and really allow the family back in like that 
because as far as everyone is concerned, Harry and Meghan hate Charles. They hate Charles, hate Kate, hate Whitney, especially hate William. <laughs> They cannot stand, hold on, they can't stand William's stinking long drawers, they hate him. So if they take these kind of very, very obvious and somewhat crass PR steps, they've got to do something bold. They went on Oprah's show and called the man an old racist. This man, who is the head of the monarchy in the UK, they said he's a racist. You have to do something big and bold to counteract that. I soon come, her share, bless. You know what to do, Harry. Don't be stubborn. Be patient. <coughs> Fresh start. And earn it. Okay? I'm going to get a drink. Later. <laughs>